back to my channel. Today we're making a delicious dessert. This is called Firni. Now this originated in Punjab, but it's made all over India. It's very similar to Kheer. And if you're wondering what the difference is, Kheer is made with whole rice, whereas Firni is made with rice that's been ground up quite coarsely. The difference is also that Firni is always served cold, whereas Kheer can be served both hot and cold. This recipe takes very few ingredients and it's made in no time at all. Before I go any further with this recipe, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I upload a ton of videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see it. Also, ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon, that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. I have one cup of basmati rice here and I'm just going to soak this for about an hour in water. Long grain basmati rice is the traditional favorite to use in this dish. After an hour, I'm going to drain the water and I'm going to add these grains to my food processor and I'm going to process this for a short time. I'm looking for the rice to look like granules and not be ground to a fine paste. In my pot, I'm going to melt one tablespoon of ghee and I'm just going to allow this to melt. Ghee is clarified butter and is used in a lot of recipes, both savory and sweet. I have five cardamom pods here and I'm just going to lightly pound this to remove the seeds. I'm going to add the seeds to the ghee and allow it to leach its fragrance. Next, I'm going to saute the rice that I processed in the ghee and the cardamom. Look how coarse the grains are. It's really important to get this kind of texture with the rice. Sauteing the rice and ghee also coats the grains so they prevent clumping together. Next, I'm going to add a cup of sugar. And finally, I'm going to add one liter of milk. I like to indulge and use whole milk in this recipe, but you can also use 2% if you like or skim milk. If you're lactose intolerant, you can try coconut milk. This would be a great substitute as well. Some recipes call for the milk to be heated up first before adding the rice. I find that if you add the rice to hot milk, it starts to clump together really quickly. Now all we can do is stir, stir and stir. Frequent stirring reduces the scalding that happens at the bottom of the pan. I'm going to keep cooking this milk till it's reduced by half. Reduce the heat and keep reducing the milk down. Make sure to keep stirring, one, just to prevent scalding, and two, so the rice doesn't start to clump together. Once the milk is reduced to about half, I'm going to add some saffron. These beautiful strands are hand-picked stamens from the crocus flower. They give an amazing aroma and such a beautiful color. One or two small pinches is really all that you need. As the milk cooks down and the rice fluffs up, this saffron is going to turn this into a delicate golden yellow color. The milk has now reduced to less than half and all the rice has been cooked. It's normal to see some brown scalding skin float to the surface. If this bothers you, just use a strainer or a slotted spoon and remove it. I'm going to turn the heat off now and I'm going to allow this to cool for about 15 minutes. It's now time to plate it. Traditionally, these are served in clay pots or mudkas. These keep the firni really cool and it also sets very quickly. I'm going to fill each one of these. When I was in India the last time, we ordered some firni, kheer and kulfi and they all came in these pots. Instead of throwing them away, I washed them, dried them and carefully packed them Put them into my suitcase and brought them with me to Canada. Of course, you can also serve these in small bowls, ramekins, or if you prefer, you can even serve this in a larger family style dish. I'm going to garnish
garnish this with one or two strands of saffron and some sliced raw pistachios. These need to be set in the fridge and served cold and they make a great make-ahead dessert. Enjoy! Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Fit Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this absolutely delicious recipe. Every time I make it, I have my friends and family just drooling over it. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, guys. Do share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. I hope to hit 50,000 subscribers this year, so I hope that you can help me get there. Also, ring the bell that will notify you every time I upload a new video. And I upload a ton of behind the scenes footage to all of my social channels, so make sure you're following me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Snapchat. Till I see you next time, take care and happy eating. Bye.